Hey, this is Dad Random, and I am out at my uh, range test site. Um, I've got perfect lighting conditions today. Um, I've also got a really nice temperature. It's probably around 40 degrees, maybe, probably warmer than that, maybe like middle 40s. Um, so I'm going to go straight out. This is a, pretty much a zero interference area, uh, and we're going to test the Mavic Mini. Um, on a distance flight. So we're going to go ahead and get this puppy set up, um, get it unlocked, put it in the air, and and uh, see what we get today. So we'll go ahead and uh, pick the battery out. Easy, easy setup. Go ahead and slide a battery in. Not going to do anything special with the uh, with the remote today. Get my phone out, and we'll get her going. Here we go. All right. Let's see. We got the let's see. We got the drone in view. Let's see, take off. Let's see, take off uh, with caution. Well, I'm going to wait till we get enough satellites here. Let it, uh, while it's collecting its satellite information. There we go, we've got 10. All right, that's good. That's good That's good to know right there. Let's go ahead, we'll get the antennas pointed out there. Like I said, I shouldn't have any lighting issues, shouldn't have any, have any obstruction issues. Um, go ahead and... Take off. And uh, looks like we're going to go. Here we go. Take a picture there where we're going. Let's get our video set up. We'll go in 30 frames per second. And we are off. Here we go. And we are in P mode. And we are going out, we get about, I like get about 150 feet or so. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my, I'm gonna record my screen. And we are going. See what we're gonna get today. I'm hoping we get the distances that uh, Dustin Dunhill got. We definitely can't ask for a better day, for sure. And what I like is I can I can get right out here. I can walk right out and uh, really test the performance of this thing. Um, I'm trying to get the confidence that other people have with the distance of the 5.8G Wi-Fi. So I'm going to leave the camera settings kind of where they're at. And we should be approaching the edge of this ridge here. And this ridge line has always been my one mile, my one mile threshold. So, looking for our one mile threshold here at the ridge. I haven't gotten any uh, any warnings yet. So nice and clear. I'm really happy so far. I'm. Uh, feeling much better than I did the other day <laughs> when I started getting all kinds of crazy warnings. Let's go ahead and get a little more altitude here. I'm going to come over the ridge. This is where I kind of show you the edge of the cliff. Kind of slow down a little bit. There we go. 
There is our river. We are past the river. Now we, our goal is that little peak up ahead. And we are uh, pushing forward to that peak. Uh, we're at 1,500 meters. And my goal is just to get to that peak. If I can get to that peak, that's where I that's where I got the Anafi, um, and that'll also give you a comparison between DJI and the Anafi. Is uh, when you want to look at the Wi-Fi and the yeah, weak signal. I'm gonna go ahead and get some air altitude. It says strong wind, caution. But really, there isn't strong winds. So I'm not really worried about that. I just want to worry about getting some more altitude. Um, and so far, so good. Almost 2,000 meters. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Wow, I'm getting a battery level warning, which is... Go home. All right, now it's... All right, I got a battery level, level warning. So I'm just going to let that... Uh, I'm going to let that... Uh, I didn't even check the battery level. Um, but yeah, it's... Let's see what the battery's saying. It's saying that it's... Half, I've got half a battery? I don't know about that. I'll let her come home. I've got more than one battery. We'll take her out again. Go ahead and get some of that view on the way back. I'm going to do some adjustments and we're going to take another flight. I think we can make it. I think we can make that, uh, that peak. Continue home using my map. So I don't have to listen to that. We'll switch out to a fresh battery. Guys, remember, one of the things I'm looking for is to get a little bit of, 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 of security, you know, a little bit of uh, confidence <laughs> with, this little, with this little drone and uh, where it can go. But if I know I can get to that peak out there, um, I'm, I'm, I'm sold. So... I'm going to bring this back. I'm going to switch my battery out, see where I'm at, just to make sure that I'm not going to get myself in trouble. She's coming in. Get her coming at me. All right. Well, that's kind of fun, huh? Let's bring her in, back her in. Well, let's go ahead and... There we go, we got her back. Let's go ahead and send her out again. Let's go ahead and switch out. Go ahead and one more time, here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, this is flight number two. Uh, once again, we're gonna take off. Uh, we're gonna go out the same trajectory, um, but we will not abort the mission. We will make sure we fly the entire mission this time. And... The home point has been updated. Here we go, we're ready to go. We've got uh, plenty of satellites. And we're going to go ahead and take off. Take off. All right. Well, we got about 50 degrees right now. Let's go ahead and switch out my, we got that. Let's go ahead and switch up my um, uh, information. Units. We are now Imperial. Uh, yes. We're in position mode. And we are going to, uh, here we go feet and here we go flight number two all right all right let's go there
And we are in P mode and we are on our way out again. And this flight will be successful. There is absolutely no reason why we cannot make our goal today. I'm going to get up to about 150 feet. And we are going to pay close attention to our battery information. It says strong wind, but there is not a strong wind today. Um, there's barely uh, maybe a five mile an hour breeze maybe. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. I, I am in position mode. I'm going to keep it in P mode. Uh, we are going to go and follow the same flight. Like I said, the breeze is coming at my face, so if we do have to return home, um, we can do it safely. Uh, we, do, we are getting some wind warnings. I'm only at 100 feet. I'm going to keep straight out. Like I said, we're going to reach our goal. Our goal is to reach the peak that we reached uh, with the Anafi. Uh, but when I flew the Anafi, it was a warmer temperature than this. So this one, if uh, when and if and when we do make it, um, we'll be making a similar flight that we can compare. And that's really what we want to do today is we want to get a fair comparison with, uh, you know, to, 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 to alleviate my, my fear. <laughs> um, and my fear was that, that this little drone was, was not going to be at least, um, uh, you know, close to the quality that I got with my Peridonafi. And all I want to do is if I can get close... I mean, that's a win. That's a huge win. So we are, you know, almost 4,000 feet out. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Um, say we got strong wind. We'll get down in this, uh, we'll get down in this little area here. Now we will pick up some wind when we cross the, um, when we cross this area here. So I'm going to drop the gimbal and you'll see as we uh, go over the cliff we'll pick some drafts up there so we should be clear now almost 5,000 feet and we want to climb up we want to get to the edge of this ridge right here so we'll follow that and stay down hopefully we won't get too much um, too much interference. We're crossing the river now. You can see it on the map. Um, we're at 75%. Our battery level should be absolutely perfect. We, we sh this flight should not tax the battery system. Go ahead and raise it up. Uh, we're getting good control function. I'm canceling that. It's just not low enough to not make this. It's just that as a premature warning for sure. Um, but we are getting control. That's the big thing. Um, I'm going to follow the ridge here. I'd like to reach the tip of the ridge. We're at 6,000 feet. to get right over the edge there okay we're getting some wind there let's kind of get up over that edge we've cleared the ridge now we just gotta well, we're getting we're getting some buffeting off the ridge there let's get some more altitude come on baby there we go I'm gonna get I'm gonna go let me turn it back in I want to get over the trail Oops, I want to get, I got to get higher for sure. Yeah, we're at four, we're at our 400 feet limit here. Let's not get, oh man, we got to slow it down. Whoa, got to get out over there. I got to get off the, I got to get off the cliff. All right, 
gear, be careful when I turn because I lose and I lose control function. Oh man, weak signal, adjust antenna. Are we gonna make it? We're at 7,000 7, feet. We got 64% battery. Can we make it to the the point where the Anafi found victory? Can we make it? Almost 8,000 feet, and my screen is black. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's back. Oh my gosh. Weak signal. Do you think this is enough? Do you think this is enough to, to say, hey, uh, we're equal? We've made it to the point where the Anafi turned around. Oh, my, oh man, she's black again. I think that's it. I think we got to come home. There, unable to transmit. 8,164 feet guys man oh man let's let's see if we can let's see if i can do a little bit of a yaw here how close we are to the cliff we are at the very tip of that cliff way out there uh, let's go ahead and we're going to take a picture and we're going to return uh, let's return to home we're gonna have it come home she is way out there um, she's gonna come down here let's bring her down and bring her home we don't we're we're definitely within our flight allowance because of the cliff that we're at we're we're next to and I am just gonna manually fly her home Let's get this puppy in full forward mode and get her down to where we're where we need to be and I'll go ahead and and finish this flight out manually but 8,000 feet remember I was looking for an area where we would be pretty much free of Wi-Fi interference and I think that's what we got I'm gonna get her down to the ridge there to the edge of that cliff um, let's go ahead and um, so I can manually adjust the altitude as it's in return the home mode says you know adjust antennas but we're getting really good FPV um, so I did I got to, th that was my that was my point guys I made it it made it to the place that the Anafi made it to this little tiny drone now all you guys that are that were worried about um, what this thing could do or what it couldn't do um, your your fears should now be alleviated because, guys, I just beat my Anafi dist or not beat, I didn't beat it, I equaled my Anafi distance. Now, just to be honest with the Anafi people, my Anafi could have gone further, <laughs> just so you know. I could have flown the Anafi further than this because I had zero Wi-Fi breakup with the Anafi when I decided to turn it around. Um... But uh, she's uh, tooling home. Uh, where are we at? We're at 48% battery, 44%. So at 8,000 feet, guys. 8,000 feet. And, guys, this is a Wi-Fi free zone, man. This place is... Um, this is interference free. There's nothing here to to interfere um, with my return. Bring her down a little bit more. Get her down to about a hundred feet. So she'll come in pretty much level. Um, so you understand that when when I fly out that way, 
when I get to that ridge, I mean, I'm only, man, I was skirting the top of that ridge. I was barely at the edge of that thing. Um, so there's absolutely nothing that flies that will ever come close uh, to this to this area, uh, unless they want to fly into the side of a mountain. All right, that's enough of that that uh, blasted beeping. We'll go ahead and we'll just fly her home here. I'm going to turn it in a, put it in a sport mode, and we're going to friggin' fly it home. Now I don't know what I could do in sport mode, guys. Um, as far as as far as this drone is concerned. But I could imagine in sport mode, I probably could get a in a warmer day. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. I really don't need to know. Because what happened just, just barely was I got where I needed to go. I, I now know that uh, when I fly the, the bluffs and the cliffs of this area, what this little drone can do, and I'm going to tell you right now, it can do exactly what I needed it to do. So, as far as the spark is concerned, um, in flight distance, this drone just kicked the sparks literal beep. And uh, that's all I got to say about that. Look at that thing coming home. Wow. Guys, some days when you're flying, you actually have fun. And today, I just had some freaking fun guys check that thing out look at that little thing look at that little sparky i call it sparky little mini look at that it's getting up there in your face that little mini up there and that mini in your face right there there you go yes eight thousand feet with that puppy eight thousand you got it, baby. All right, let's get it out of S mode here. It's right next to me. What do I got left here? Got a 28% battery. I guess I can do a little pullback shot, huh? So let's do a little droney of some kind. Let's go. Here we go. Here's our droney for the day. Let's go ahead and hit the... 